Hello, and uh, welcome to another project by the uh, Forstronics blog and YouTube channel. This project is the Android RC car project. And basically what we're doing here is we're building an RC car and we're going to control it with an Android device. And our RC car is going to have a Bluetooth module uh, and it's also going to have an Arduino on there doing, doing the brain work. Uh, and once again, it's going to be controlled by an Android device. The cool thing is, is we're not going to use buttons on the device. We're going to use gestures or the device's positioning to control it. And just to note, this is leveraged from another project where I had the car already built and I used a joystick with an Arduino and a Bluetooth module. Uh, this time I'm getting rid of the joystick. I'm keeping the same car and my, a lot of my Arduino code is going to be the same as from the last project. But this time I'm going to use an Android device to control it. And so if you want to get some background on that project, because I'm not going to go into details of the car design because I did in that project, you can see the links on the screen. Okay, before I get started, let me show you the final product in action. So you can see I'm holding an Android tablet. Uh, it's actually the Nexus 7 tablet. You can see the app, and I, I should say I, I built the app on MIT's App Inventor 2, which I'll, I'll show you. But I, I, the only device I've tested the app on is a Nexus 7. So let me start the video. So there's me holding the tablet. You can see the car in the background. When I push the tablet down or, or tilt it forward, the car goes forward. Uh, when I tilt it backwards, like so, the car goes backwards. And you can see on the user interface, I signal which way I'm going. You can see left turn, now right turn. And so if I tilt turn and forward, um, you can move forward and then turn. It's actually pretty cool. It takes a little bit of getting used to uh, versus like a joystick or something, but it's actually a really neat way to do it. Okay, so there was the car in action, the final product in action. Here's the parts list for the car. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. I do do in my other video, but uh, I'm using the Adafruit Motor Shield. I'm using the RN42 Bluetooth module. If you're not familiar with that, I have a getting started video and blog post on that. Yeah, there's the parts list. Here's the schematic, and you can find this schematic uh, on my blog. Uh, but Arduino Uno, there's my uh, Bluetooth controller, the RN42. There's my motor shield, and you can see the motors. And, and I'm using a uh, lithium ion battery. You can use any battery. Important to note that the battery is, is actually split off between the Arduino and the motor shield because I tried running the power just through the Arduino and the regulator couldn't give enough current. So I am taking advantage of the built-in regulator on the motor shield and the Arduino Uno regulator. Here's some notes. Uh, if you're not familiar with the RN42, I have a getting started video on the RN42 Bluetooth module. Uh, when you're configuring it, you want to be sure to turn off the authentication requirement. And there's the command to do that. You want to be sure to turn off the sleep feature because since you're using gestures to control the car, the app will actually go to sleep or the device will actually go to sleep. And I didn't see a way in the App Inventor, MIT App Inventor, to set the sleep feature in the app itself. So you want to go into the tablet, set the sleep setting. Okay, let's look at the App Inventor. Here's the MIT App Inventor to uh, interface and if you're not familiar with this I'm not going to go into detail there's plenty of tutorials just search MIT App Inventor 2 and you can get started but it's a graphical programming interface it makes creating Android apps really easy compared to you know programming textual code here's my interface to the app uh, first I have a address selector so basically this will bring up a list of the Bluetooth addresses that the tablet detects once I see the RN42's address, I select it from the menu, I'm now connected. When I'm ready to start controlling the car, I press this button. These text boxes tell me if I'm going forward or back, or if I'm stopped, right or left turn, just to give you some visual feedback besides, I guess, the car moving. And then there's a disconnect button. And then some of the other objects that you don't see on there is I have their orientation sensor object. That's what I'm gonna to use to do my gestures to, uh, to control the car. I have a clock, I'll show you what that's for, and then I have, of course, a Bluetooth client that I'm using to communicate with the Arduino on the car. 
So let me go to the block. So once again, this is a, a graphical programming interface. This is, I hate to say similar, but it's somewhat like LabVIEW if you're familiar with that. But these pieces are, are my code. So here is my address list selector. It gets all the uh, Bluetooth addresses. This call basically allows me, when I select the car's address, this does the connection. And then what I do right away is I send this pound character to the car. And that tells the Arduino on the car that we're connected and I'm ready to control you. These are variables to hold, hold my uh, speed and direction. This is the start button click. So what happens is when I press start, I'm ready to do my control. Uh, I make sure that I'm connected. And then what I do is I enable this timer. And so what happens is I connect and then I say every 15 milliseconds execute this timer and the code in this timer. So let me go to that. So this is where a lot of the programming is. But basically what I'm doing is every 15 milliseconds after I press the start button, I'm making a call to the orientation sensors to get the, the device's position. I then use that to convert it into a speed and direction setting. And I should note that since this is built on an earlier project, what I did is I convert the, the values that I'm getting from the orientation sensors into the same values that I was getting from my joystick from the past project, because I didn't want to have to change the Arduino code. So I only had to make a couple changes to it. So that's why I'm doing a lot of massaging to the, uh, to the actual reading. Okay, I do some filtering here. I then send it as a packet. Uh, to my uh, to the RC car to the Arduino on the RC car and what I'm doing here is I'm taking the, the speed value and I, I wrap some text around it to make it into a packet so the Arduino on the car can then read it in and uh, make sure that a complete reading is there since I know what the start and stop character are so that was for up and down or forward and backwards then I do the same thing for left and right then I then print to my text boxes what direction or speed I'm going, I should say. Okay, and then last but not least is the disconnect button. So when I disconnect, I send two more packets to put the car stopped, to make sure the car is stopped. It's not going forward or backwards or left or right. And then I shut off my timer so this no longer executes. Uh, and then I disconnect the Bluetooth device. So that is the App Inventor code. And I put these comments here, so I commented it. I didn't see a place to post this, so if you want this, uh, you can email me and I can, I can send it to you. Uh, I'll show my email address at the end. Next, I'm gonna bring up the Arduino code. And I'm not gonna go into detail about this. Uh, this will be posted on my blog, so you can copy it. But I go into a little more detail in the other project post, but these libraries up here are for the, um, the Adafruit, Adafruit motor shield. Here's my motor objects. One thing I will show you is in the setup code, I start my serial. And then what I'm doing here is I loop until I get that, that start character, that pound sign from the Android device. Then I go into my main loop and if you saw the other project, this code is pretty much the same in this main loop. Uh, I'm just looking for my left, right, or up, down, or forward or backwards, I should say, packets from the car. And I, I use that to set the motors. And uh, I have a number of functions down here to do that to set the motor speed. Once again, this can be accessed uh, from my blog. Okay, well that is the Android RC car project. This was a really neat project. Once again, I leveraged a past project that was fun. This one's even funner because you're using the positioning of the Android device. It takes a while to get used to, but once you get it down, it's, it's pretty neat. You can email me if you want the uh, app code for the uh, App Inventor. The Arduino code and the schematics will be on my blog. And that is it. Thanks for watching.